Why do I have high cholesterol if I'm eating a healthy diet? If you have high cholesterol despite eating well, this video is a must watch for you. Because your high cholesterol may be there to protect you. What? Hi, I'm Dorothea Damiak, former board certified naturopathic doctor, author of five books and the creator of Using Proportions Blueprints so you can finally get an A in health. Today I'm going to tell you yet another reason why you might have high cholesterol and why lowering it might not be the best idea. If you're raising your eyebrows right now or scratching your head, let me ease you into the subject by asking you a question. What does a lipoprotein particle, commonly referred to as blood cholesterol, do in the body? You have three choices. See if you can get it right. A. It doesn't do anything and just causes heart disease. B. It carries cholesterol, which is a precursor to steroids. And C. It's a part of the immune system. What would that be? A, B or C? Well, if you said A, that's not the right answer. Cholesterol is a vital substance and humans cannot live without it. And low cholesterol neither leads to a stronger heart nor improves overall health. If you chose B, congratulations! You are well on your way to solve the high cholesterol puzzle. If you chose B and C, you're a star. Very few people know that cholesterol is an extremely important part of the immune system. Special congratulations to you. And relax. High cholesterol does not mean you're going to have a heart disease. Neither it means that you're going to end up with the arterial blockage. Frequently, it means the opposite, a healthier and a longer life. Oh, by the way, did you know that the longest living person was a bacon lover? If you're confused by this, please look up my videos on arterial plaque, or better yet, subscribe. But let's back to high cholesterol. Why would anyone have high cholesterol in the first place? In part one, I explained that one of the reasons for high cholesterol is inflammation. Today, I'm going to focus yet on another reason, infections. Lipoproteins are a very vital part of the body defenses and that includes many different types of infections. It doesn't matter whether the infection is due to a virus, bacteria, fungus or parasite. Lipoproteins are there to protect the body regardless of the protein type. So what happens? When an infection starts, the liver increases the production of lipoproteins and these are your dreaded VLDLs. This is done on purpose and has nothing to do with how many eggs you eat in a day. If your liver can make extra VLDLs, it will. Because of these extra lipoproteins, you may see a cholesterol spike in your blood results. But a visible increase in cholesterol does not happen every time. It only happens when the infection is significant. What do I mean by significant? I mean that it requires a large immune response, not necessarily a fever. A significant response may be totally silent, resulting only in chronic fatigue or non-specific symptoms, which may not raise any suspicion of an infection. Such is the case with HIV, hepatitis B, herpes simplex, and many pathogenic biofilms present in the body. Depending on the extent and the timing of the infection, you may see different cholesterol patterns on your lab results. The stronger and the more persistent the infection, the longer the body will try to keep cholesterol high. But high cholesterol can be only seen in people who are capable of mounting good immune response and those who can produce sufficient number of lipoproteins. However, if the liver exhausts its capacity to produce extra cholesterol, which can happen if an infection is overwhelming or prolonged, one may see a drop in cholesterol numbers instead. Many chronic inflammatory diseases like arthritis, IBD, are linked to low cholesterol because they exhaust body defenses. And they exhaust body defenses because they are frequently accompanied 
by silent yet significant infection. I know it's complicated. So let me simplify things. An infection can lead to high cholesterol if the immune response is strong, but it may lead to depressed cholesterol if the body exhausts its capacity to fight. So ideally, a significant infection would produce a short-lived cholesterol spike, which then would return to baseline when the fight is over. This is an ideal pattern that indicates strong immune system and good nutrient reserves. Great! Since you know that cholesterol and infections go together, now it's perfect time to give you seven reasons why this is so. Just a reminder that what we call cholesterol is actually a lipoprotein particle made up of many parts, including cholesterol. These lipoprotein particles, besides carrying cholesterol, also carry nutrients and proteins, all of which are used in defending the body. So why do we have high cholesterol? Reason number one. Lipoproteins can bind to viruses, bacteria, and parasites. Binding not only marks the pathogens for destruction, it also blocks their receptors. Pathogens cannot use blocked receptors. Blocking is the most basic way lipoproteins protect us from the infection. It's basic, but it's very effective. Why do we have high cholesterol? Reason number two. Lipoproteins are not only capable of blocking pathogen receptors, they are also capable of blocking receptors on our own cells. This way, they block the virus, bacteria, fungus, or parasite from entering the cells, which is good. So when you see an increase in cholesterol on your lab results, don't panic. It may be for your own good. Those extra lipoproteins may be actively trying to close all the cellular entry points to prevent microbes from taking over your body. Take a deep breath. High cholesterol does not mean that your liver is plotting to kill the heart. Maybe it's trying to save you. Why do I have high cholesterol? Reason number three. Have you heard of sepsis? It's a serious bacterial infection which carries high mortality rate. Yet, cholesterol can prevent that. Studies have shown that people with low cholesterol not only are more likely to fall into a severe illness category, but they are also more likely to die from it. So high cholesterol means higher chances for survival. That's what you want. Why do I have high cholesterol? Reason number four. Pathogen marking, neutralizing, and entrance blocking are not the only functions of lipoproteins. Lipoproteins are also potent messengers that can increase or decrease inflammation. Lipoproteins can excite cytokines in order to strengthen inflammation, if that's what's needed to fight infection, but they can also hold the production of the same cytokines so inflammation doesn't get out of hand. By regulating inflammation up or down, lipoproteins ensure the swiftest and the most beneficial outcome. Why do I have high cholesterol? Reason number five. Lipoproteins are capable of binding and neutralizing various toxins. These include lipopolysaccharides from gram-negative bacteria and lipotycoic acid from gram-positive bacteria. In septic shock, gram-negative bacteria produce large quantities of lipopolysaccharides, toxins that can kill a victim. Lipoproteins strongly bind to lipopolysaccharides and by doing so, they prevent sickness and death. People with low blood cholesterol, in other words, lower toxin binding capacity, are far more affected than those with high blood cholesterol. So lipoproteins are good. They not only neutralize bacterial byproducts, they also detoxify them. After gluing themselves to the toxins, lipoproteins direct them towards the bile for disposal. So while bacterial toxins can be deadly, high cholesterol can be extremely protective. And since you never know when bacteria decides to have an affair with you, it's best not to keep cholesterol low. Why do I have high cholesterol? Reason number six. Lipoprotein transports triglycerides and antioxidants, 
and by being highly mobile, they can deliver a burst of energy and a burst of antioxidants to any tissue in need within minutes. That's important because both triglycerides and antioxidants are in high demand during infection. Triglycerides provide energy molecules to fuel energy-intense inflammation process and antioxidants protect the tissue against the damage that inflammation inevitably causes. This way the body can use maximum power but suffer minimum damage. Why do I have high cholesterol? Reason number seven. During infection, even cholesterol itself plays an important role. Cholesterol builds cellular membranes and ensure their stability. During an infection or inflammation, the body needs extra cholesterol to repair membranes that got damaged. This extra cholesterol can also be used to form new membranes. These new membranes can be used to shape new cells or create transport vehicles. Membrane reorganization is very active during infection and that's why it's natural to see cholesterol numbers going up at that time. When you see your cholesterol going high, don't think, gosh, I'm going to die of a heart attack. Maybe you won't. Maybe that high cholesterol is for your own good. And instead of suppressing your cholesterol numbers in panic, maybe you should ask this. Why is my liver working extra hard? Why is my body trying to do with these extra VLDLs and LDLs? What is my body trying to repair? What is it fighting? You need to look carefully at your symptoms, diagnose diseases, nutritional deficiencies, gut flora imbalances, and see what you can influence. Don't try to lower cholesterol numbers hoping to improve your health. You won't. High cholesterol is a marker, not a disease. High cholesterol can be strongly protective, regulatory, and actually lead to a longer life. Bacon anyone? I'm oh, just joking. In the meantime, work on your health and try to put a finger on what high cholesterol numbers are trying to tell you. For best cholesterol numbers, start with these. Eat real food, move with intensity, and enjoy every minute of your life. That includes a glass of red wine here and there. See you in the next video.